Considering building a pond, do you have a lackluster space that needs a little attention? Or do you just want to add the soothing flow of water in a high traffic area? Incorporating a water feature into landscaping is a great way to carve out a calm, peaceful setting. We've been looking at ponds for quite a while and wanted a pond with a waterfall to be nice and relaxing. And we added the little flagstone patio to it so that we'd have a place to sit and just listen to the water falling in the pond. For years, ponds have been a favorite project among outdoor enthusiasts. For do-it-yourselfers, there are several ways to bring water into any setting, whether it is an above-ground pond that requires no digging or an in-ground pond that uses a preformed or flexible liner. The possibilities are endless. First, determine how much space is available. Let that determine your water feature. A small backyard deck would benefit from a round, preformed pond. A narrow walkway would house a rectangular pond using a flexible liner. If space is not an issue, an organically shaped pond with a multi-tiered waterfall and a stream like this one is ideal. When choosing the location for your pond, there are both practical and aesthetic points to consider. Ensure the pond is visible from many areas, whether from a nearby window or an outdoor living area. I was very excited to build this pond. We spent a lot of time in the backyard with family and friends. Until now, most of our efforts have been in gardening. We decided we'd build this pond. We chose this area of our, our backyard because it was large enough to build the pond that we wanted. We could see it from several points in the backyard and the kitchen window. Also consider many plants, such as water lilies, require six hours of sunlight a day to produce blooms. It's best to avoid a location directly under trees. Falling leaves and matter create debris that can clog pumps and upset the pond's biological balance. For safety reasons, choose a location that doesn't interfere with any underground power lines or gas pipelines. Also, check your local building codes or ordinances related to backyard pools. Determine the size of the water garden. Use a water hose or spray paint to outline the design. Keep in mind, the most common water gardener's regret is that they did not build the pond large enough. The base of the pond is generally 1.5 feet deep. In colder climates, dig at least two feet or more to protect fish against freezing. The base of the pond can include several ledges at varying depths to hold rocks and plants for added interest. Make sure the top edges of your pond are level. Create an elevated six to eight inch ledge around the perimeter. This will help keep unwanted water from flowing into the pond. Remove any rock or debris from the base and walls of the pond. Underlayment is needed to protect the liner from punctures. Sand or carpet remnants may be used. Now that you know the size of your pond, determine the size of the liner and take into account all added pond ledges and allow an extra two feet for edging. Unfold the liner and cover the pond. Tuck the liner tightly in all areas and anchor with stones. To choose a pump, start with a simple formula. Average length times average width times average depth times 7.5. This is how many gallons your pump should circulate. This pond utilizes the Smart Pond UV 1300 gallons per hour waterfall pump. Once the pond liner is covered with stones, position the pump at the base of the pond on top of a brick or a flat stone. This will keep the pump from sucking in debris at the bottom of the pond. The corrugated tubing and cord of the pump should be hidden within a fold of the liner and run over the edge of the pond. To ensure maximum cleaning efficiency, a Smart Pond UV pond filter was added to improve the pond's water quality while promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria. What does this really mean? A crystal clear, healthy pond. This is the perfect time to add lighting. This cord can also be tucked into a fold of the liner. Continue by adding large stones around the edge to anchor the liner. The liner should extend at least 10 inches past the elevated edge. Trim and bury the excess liner or cover with stone or rock. This pond features an impressive waterfall. The elevation was created with cinder blocks and excess dirt from the pond. Corrugated tubing runs from the pump to the filter and from the filter to the top of the waterfall. The waterfall pump forces water to fall down multiple levels of slate, meander to the stream, and pass gently into the pond. 
to the greatest extent practical, minimize the number of bends and turns in the tubing. This will maximize the flow of water. For more information concerning pond building, maintenance, and UV technology, visit smart-pond.com.